Begin tonight in Lone Oak County in the trial for Michael Davis, the former deputy who's facing charges in the death of 17 year old Hunter Britton. Davis is charged with manslaughter after Britton was shot to death during a traffic stop last June. KRK 4's Kate Renesap joining us live from Lone Oak County tonight with the latest on the first day of Davis's trial. Kate well, Laura, Bob, a lot happened in just these first few hours. Not only was it jury selection, which only lasted about four hours, many thought that with a case of this size that it could take upwards of a few days. They knocked that out pretty quickly and then moved on to their first two witnesses. Now, the first witness in the case of Michael Davis was actually Jordan King, who was a close friend of Hunter Britton's and actually the other teenager who was in the car with Britain when those shot or that shot rather was fired killing Hunter. So he gave testimony. He explained his side of the story, what he saw and heard. A big part of the opening argument for the prosecutor was the fact that Jordan said that he didn't actually hear any commands before that shot was fired. He just heard the fired shot from Davis at Hunter and then he heard commands of shots fired and put your hands up. Now the defense in their opening arguments argued that and say that Davis did in fact make those commands. But the second part of the testimony that we heard today was from an investigator with Arkansas State Police who is part of this investigation, but they did show for the first time the body camera taken from Michael Davis's body camera in the moments after the shooting that killed Hunter Britton. Now, what we saw when it first came up, the first words you hear are shots fired, shots fired, and then Davis shouting it, who we can assume is Jordan King, get your hands up. We then see um, not only the scene, but also Davis break down. Now, in the courtroom, while this video is playing, we also see the family of Hunter Britton have a very emotional response. Many had to leave the room, especially as his body camera took in the rest of the scene, and you could see just the devastation, including Hunter there. So a, a very emotional day for just the beginning of this trial. And of course, we're about to get a lot more information. Now, as the prosecuting attorney said today, it gets real. That was a quote that he said when he was picking the jury today. All 12 of those members were picked again in four hours. Today, it gets real. And really, that's what we saw in the beginning of this trial. But it's about to get more real. We have a number of other witnesses, I believe anywhere from 17 to 18 additional witnesses are being called this week. The prosecuting attorney and the defense attorney both believe it could take at least this full week, if not into early next week, to get through all of this. So a lot of witnesses, and as we heard in their opening arguments, a lot more pieces of evidence that are going to be presented to the jury in this case. Of course, we're going to continue to keep you updated, but for now, the day has adjourned and we're looking towards tomorrow. Reporting in Cabot, Kate Renee Saf, back to you.